The Sovereign Prince family of Monaco show their support for the white car campaign in Larvodo. The Care Essorn Vivachar Wongse appointed Honorary Advisory Chairman to the President of the Lawyers' Council of Thailand. Princess Anisha Rosna of Brunei volunteers at a food kitchen in Bandar Seri Begawan. And Queen Mary of Denmark inaugurates the newly expanded Jägersborg Deer Park in Mayrum. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name is Alexandra, and welcome to your Royal Daily News for Sunday, April 7th, 2024. In Nairam, Her Majesty Queen Mary of Denmark, accompanied by the Danish Minister of the Environment, presided over the inauguration of the newly expanded Jägersborg Deer Park. Recently, the southern part of the Jägersborg High was integrated into the Jägersborg Deer Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2015, where over 2,000 deer roam free and flora and fauna thrive. During the inauguration, the Queen gave a speech and unveiled His Majesty King Frederick X of Denmark's monogram on one of the new red gates to the park. Then, the Queen released two deer into the park. According to a press release from the Ministry of the Environment of Denmark, the two deer are, quote, descendants of deer in the original park, which was fenced off by King Frederick III, end quote. The celebrations ended with the Queen and the Minister taking a relaxing Sunday stroll through the beautiful park. On Saturday, Their Majesties King Carl Gustav and Queen Sylvia of Sweden, accompanied by Princess Christina Mrs. Magnusson and her husband Mr. Tord Magnusson, attended the tribute concert entitled A Party for Abba, Waterloo 50 Years, held at the circus in Stockholm. The tribute concert featured prominent Swedish artists, a 21-person band, and a large choir. The concert was held as a, quote, salute to a band that changed the Nordic country's music scene forever, end quote. On Saturday in Bangkok, Their Majesties, King Rama X and Queen Sothada of Thailand presided over a ceremony at the grand statue of King Rama I on the occasion of Shaktri Memorial Day. While the king was lighting candles and incense at the grand statue, his second estranged son, Mr. Vikar Esorn Vivachar Wongse, was appointed Honorary Advisory Chairman to the President of the Lawyers' Council of Thailand during a ceremony at the headquarters of the LCT in Bangkok. The position lasts until the year 2025. In his social media post, Vok wrote, quote, I am truly honored and I pledge to devote my physical and mental strengths as well as my expertise to the full benefit of everyone. I will also do my utmost for fairness and equality in the field of justice and law. End quote. Bach received his master's in law in international and comparative law from George Washington University School of Law in Washington, D.C. He also received his J.D. from Stetson University in Florida. Bach is licensed to practice law in various jurisdictions, including Florida, New York, Illinois, and Colorado. But it gets even better. Recently, Valk, along with four highly respected Thai citizens, including two attorneys, a civil servant, and an entrepreneur, established the VVV Group in Bangkok, which specializes in legal and business consulting in the Kingdom of Thailand. Valk is a chairman and senior partner, naturally. In a press release from the VVV Group, it states, quote, we provide legal advice and guidance to help your business navigate legal complexities, ensure compliance with regulations, and strategically address legal issues that may arise during the course of operation. End quote. On a side note, the VVV Group's official website, Vok uses the title of Prince. Huh. Okay. Well, this is interesting. 
Especially since his dear old dad stripped the style of HRH and the title of prince from his brothers and his mother, who was then the princess 27 years ago, after the king, who was then at the time the crown prince, banished them from the kingdom of Thailand after he had a massive fit. Nonetheless, again, as I said, this is very interesting. I wonder if Vok and the king are secretly on good terms. I wonder if the king approves of his son using the title prince. Prince Vicarious Sorn. Vivachar Wangse of Thailand. Hmm. Moving on. Earlier in the week, Prince Bok, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start calling him that from now on, visited the Wat Huai Plong Kong Hospital in the Ching Rai province, where he spent time meeting with patients and staff. In his social media post, Prince Bok said that the hospital, quote, provides physiotherapy to the patients every day. Sadly, some patients have had a stroke that comes from various diseases that are easily preventable. Preventative medicine is important, but in the end, I am very happy and overwhelmed to have met the patients. One sweet grandma got out of bed and was excited to walk. End quote. The people in Thailand love Bach. His dad? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But Vok, oh, they love him. So what was his dad doing that day? The king, I mean, while Vok was meeting with patients and staff at a local hospital. Well, he did the usual, lighting candles and incense. On Thursday, the royal highnesses, Prince Abdul Mateen and Princess Anisha Rosna of Brunei, took part in an Umrah pilgrimage to Mecca, Saudi Arabia. The prince's mother, Miriam binti Abdul Aziz, and his brother-in-law, His Royal Highness Prince Bahir Ibn Jeffrey Bolkia Brunei, also took a pilgrimage to Mecca during the holy month of Ramadan. On Monday, March 25th, Her Royal Highness, Princess Anisha Rosna Brunei helped to prepare and package food at the Social Kitchen community alongside volunteers from the Society for Community Outreach and Training in Bandar Siri Begawan, Brunei. According to a press release, the Society for Community Outreach and Training was established in May 2011 and is a, quote, registered non-government organization under the Registrar of Society Brunei Darussalam with its mission of being a catalyst for sustainable poverty alleviation in Brunei, Darussalam. As a follow-up from our research study entitled An Exploratory Study of Poverty in Brunei, Darussalam, SCOT acts as a bridge to coming up with more sustaining ways and strategies to help the underprivileged by providing them with assistance in the form of resources, basic skills, and support to help them move out of the vicious cycle of poverty through our ongoing sustainable projects. End quote. On Saturday afternoon, their Serene Highnesses, Prince Albert II and Princess Charlene of Monaco, accompanied by His Serene Highness, Hereditary Prince Jacques of Monaco, and Her Serene Highness, Princess Gabriella of Monaco, attended a Pajeda demonstration in support of the White Car Campaign. As I mentioned earlier this week, the White Car Campaign, an initiative of the nonprofit organization Peace and Sport, is a commitment to peace efforts worldwide. By raising a white card, it allows one to demonstrate their support for peace through sport movement in their part of the world. So what is Pajeda? Well, it's a blend of Krav Maga, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, and if you know who the Gracies are, I don't need to explain it any further, and Muay Thai martial arts discipline created by a Monty Gask named Claude in 2020. Pajeda is considered to be a, quote, Monty Gask martial art, end quote, and allegedly, it's internationally recognized. But honestly, I cannot confirm that. I've never heard of it until yesterday. And finally, Radio Liechtenstein announced that the 2000th guest watched the documentary entitled Hans Autumn II at the Old Cinema in Vaduz. Quote, that's around 5% of Liechtenstein's population. 
If this were applied to Switzerland, around 450,000 people would have already seen the film. Due to the consistently high number of visitors, the film Hans Autumn II about Liechtenstein Sovereign will remain at the old cinema in Vaduz for the next two weeks. End quote. At this time, it is unknown when the documentary, directed by Mr. Jürgen Kindle, will be available to watch online. As soon as I find out when and where, I will let you know. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I will be back on Monday, April 8th, with all the latest royal news and events. Until then, I sincerely wish each and every one of you a wonderful Sunday afternoon. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, comment below, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a new episode. Okay, again, have a wonderful Sunday afternoon, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.